Hi, it's Mike Del Snorri. I want to talk about what happens if you charge a domestic assault and battery out of the Attleboro District Court. Now, this is a court I've been going to for years. Uh, my office is right there, uh, 120 North Main Street, right across from the court. You can walk there. You can actually park in my parking lot um, uh, if you have court. Um, so the when you go to the court, the court's at 88 North Main Street. Our office is at 120. It's right before the Dunkin' Donuts and the convenience store, and feel free to park there. Um, but what happens when, you, when you're initially charged a domestic assault and battery. So many people, first thing everyone asks is, well, my girlfriend, my wife, uh, spouse, they're not on board. They didn't want to see me get arrested. They, they told the police the officers that, um, but I was still arrested. Uh, can we just dismiss it and get it done? Fortunately, that's not the case. Um, you'll be arraigned. The DA is going to try to prosecute the case even without the cooperation of the person who's the victim. So people kind of find these cases confusing is that it seems that the alleged victim doesn't wants the case dismissed, but then the DA is pushing it anyway. It's just the nature of these cases. There's a lot of domestic assault and batteries that happen every day in this country. And in most of these cases, the person that is the so-called victim wants the case dismissed. So the government takes the position as, well, we don't know when the victim is really the victim and we should dismiss it versus when, if we dismiss this person's in fear, if we dismiss it, something else is going to happen. So they take sort of a hardline position that in all domestic cases, they're not going to dismiss the cases. Um, they usually make us put them on for trial. In Attleboro, the system is a little more efficient because we can put them on for a bench trial. Um, and then uh, the cases generally would get resolved there if um, there's no other way to prove the case. But there is sometimes, the, even without the victim, sometimes the case can go forward. So how does that happen? It happens when there's a 911 call uh, typically. It could also happen if you admitted to the charge, if you said to the officer, you know, I pushed my wife, I shoved her. Um, potentially they could go forward on the admission. But typically you'll need an admission and then you'll need a 911 call. So the theory is that when, when the person calls 911, hey, I was, I was just thrown down the stairs, I was just pushed by my husband then that, the, the law is that that's not necessarily testimonial. So let's say your wife doesn't want to testify. They play the tape. Your lawyer objects saying, uh, his, it's, it's hearsay. It's, it's, we can't even cross-examine her. It's a, it's a recording. How can that come in evidence? And the court could say, well, it's non-testimonial because she was trying calling for help, not accusing you of a crime. And that's uh, a case that came from the U.S. Supreme Court, Michigan versus Bryant, uh, set forth that. So it was a five to four decision. One of those cases that um, made law, but you know, there's different points of view on it. Uh, your lawyer can always argue that, hey, this is, it's the same as accusing somebody of crime. It shouldn't come in evidence. And ultimately a district court judge in, in Attleboro is gonna apply all the law in Massachusetts and with the United States Supreme Court and interpret the Sixth Amendment. So it can go forward. I've had cases like that. Uh, we can just argue to keep it out. We'll do everything we can to fight it. So without, I know when you charge a domestic assault and battery, you want to get your life back together. You want to move on. And that's what I'm here for. I, I understand that's what people hire me for. That's what I like doing. Uh, I enjoy helping people when they need help. Uh, so if you're charged with domestic assault and battery, feel free to contact me. I'll do my best to get this case resolved quickly as possible. Often the, the time period is between the three and six month mark. Call me on my cell phone, 781-686-5924. You can call, text, call anytime. It's never too, too early, too late to call. If you need help, I'm there for you.